Hello everyone, Mendi Barmi here. Uh, we are in uh, Brampton, Ontario. Um, so in this video, we are going to look at how to get your um, G license. So G license includes uh, driving on a highway. So in this video, we will be going on a highway and I will share really good tips uh, with you guys. You know, when you are on a highway, what you need to do, how to enter a highway, how to exit a highway. Um, yes, yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, let me know if you're looking for a driving lesson, you are in uh, Ontario, you're looking for driving lesson, uh, let me know. You guys see the number on the screen. Give me a call, send me a text message. Uh, you can also book it online. Um, the link uh, I will post uh, in the description below. All right, so uh, let's uh, get going. So car is already on and uh, seat looks good. Mirrors are good. So in the mirrors like you are looking for a um, back door handle in the inside bottom inside corner of the mirror. Uh, I will do a separate video uh, on how to actually set up your mirrors properly. Okay, so we are good to go. So we're gonna exit this parking lot. Now when you back up you have to check on both sides and if the back side of the car goes to the right then you signal right and if the back end of the car goes to the left then you signal left so here um, I want to go this way so that means the back end of my car will go to the right so I got my right signal on checking on both sides now there is a car behind me so I'm just gonna wait and that car is gone and now we are on good to go so still checking on both sides and now we can start turning the steering very important to look both sides because if you're only looking in the mirror mirror not going to show you everything and um, parking lots you just want to treat it like a two-way street unless you see a sign indicating it's a one way and we are going to exit from here so I will uh, put the left signal on we are going to the left hand side slowing down a little bit checking traffic looks clear and uh, from this stop sign we will be turning right so right signal on complete stop just gonna wait for this uh, truck to go first uh, because it's a big truck uh, you know sometimes they take up uh, more space now when you're driving in a parking lot um, you should be driving around uh, 15 uh, kilometers if you don't see a speed limit sign um, 15 to 20 kilometers uh, approximately it depends on the parking lot as well some parking lots uh, you know the sp speed limit is only about um, 10 kilometers or even like some parking lots uh, it's only about five kilometers and uh, pedestrians um, they always have the right of way this stop sign we're gonna be turning right again so signal right uh, complete stop before the stop line the front bumper of your car should not go over the stop line if you're going over the stop line that will be a mistake now we see a yellow sign on the right hand side showing a pedestrian uh, you know crosswalk is uh, coming up and uh, we are uh, turning right here so I will uh, put my right signal on and looks like we are uh, good to go that white car you know we have enough space to go now this black car is stopped over there so I want to stop before the crosswalk so I don't block the crosswalk. When this black car will go first after that I will go checking on the crosswalk again no pedestrians. Black car is still there okay now they're moving and now I can go forward check traffic on the left hand side looks clear and now we're gonna turn into the first available lane. So you always go in your first, uh, first available lane unless uh, this lane is uh, you know uh, not available maybe there's parked car or construction going on or whatever the reason um, then you can go in the other lane we will be <coughs> um, we will be turning right at traffic lights so right signal on your signal should be on when you're about 30 meters before the intersection and um, we are slowing down I'm keeping my car closer to the right side complete stop here uh, because this black car is still there checking on the crosswalk here no pedestrian going forward looking on the left hand side no traffic approaching that means we are good to go now we don't see um, a speed limit sign here so that means it's about uh, it's uh, 50 kilometers uh, maximum now it doesn't mean you have to drive at 50 you are allowed to drive 10 below the speed limit uh, and your speed actually the posted speed limits are um, you know um, therefore ideal conditions 
So if the road uh, road condition is not good or if the weather is not good, um, then you can drive slower. So um, again, everyone, if you are in uh, Ontario, uh, we are doing this video in a uh, Brampton area, but uh, if you are um, anywhere in Ontario, uh, looking for car driving lessons, uh, give me a call, send me a text message, or you can book your driving lessons online. Now we see um, overhead sign showing when the lights are flashing, uh, maximum speed is um, 40 kilometers, and we are now we are doing about um, 37, 38, I will say. Um, so we are less than 40, close to 40. Uh, because there is a school, that's why uh, you know uh, during school time, those um, that light is flashing. They want you to drive a little bit slower. Traffic lights. Uh, we will be turning right, so we are still a little bit uh, far from the traffic lights. I'm looking at my speed again. Every um, five seconds, uh, you should be looking at your speed just to make sure you're not going over the speed limit or uh, you're not driving too slow. Now, on the right hand side, we have a sign showing, uh, you know, 40 kilometers ends, fla <laughs> flashing 40 ends. That's where um, that, you know, uh, 40 kilometer ends. Um, this traffic light, we are uh, turning right. Now I can see another sign on the right hand side showing uh, the 40 kilometers actually starts uh, from there and we see pedestrians on the right hand side so we just have to wait. Now the light turns green and uh, we're going to wait for the pedestrians um, over there so because uh, you know we see uh, pedestrians crossing so they will go first and um, now we can start moving. And I'm keeping my car uh, in the right lane first. We see a um, sign showing uh, maximum 40 when the lights are flashing. Right now the lights are flashing, so that means we have to drive at uh, 40 kilometers. Looking at my speed again, we are uh, doing about um, uh, close to 40. We are doing about, you know, like 37, 38. So looking at the speed again because 40 is a little bit slow so you have to that's why you have to be very careful with your speed that's where 40 ends now we can speed up and we see another uh, sign showing at 60 kilometers and uh, we will be turning right on this traffic light so i will put my right signal on slowing down a little bit and uh, since the light is red so i'm going to come to a complete stop now we can wait for the green light or we can turn right on a red light uh, when uh, it's uh, safe to go. So right now, um, for you guys, it will be hard to see in the camera, but um, there is a lot of traffic uh, approaching uh, approaching from the left hand side. Um, so that means we're just going to wait a little bit more uh, for the light to, uh, we will just wait for the light to turn green most likely. Now, uh, when you're waiting for the green light, you still want to keep both hands on the steering. Okay, looks like now the road is um, empty. It doesn't look very busy, so we can actually go forward and um, check traffic. There is one car coming, this white car coming, so we're going to let them go first. And now we are good to go because the intersection is now empty. Speed limit sign on the right hand side, uh, maximum 70 kilometers. And uh, now this uh, pickup truck is uh, slowing down a little bit, so that's why I am also pressing on the brake to uh, maintain my distance uh, from this truck. So if the traffic in front of you is slowing down, then you have to slow down as well uh, to maintain, uh, you know, to maintain your distance. Speed limit sign on the right hand side, maximum 70 kilometers. So now uh, we are going to actually, uh, we will be merging onto a highway. So we will practice some uh, highway driving for your um, G driving test. So we're going to stay in this lane uh, because the right lane is um, only for right turns. And uh, we want to go straight from this intersection. Um, so that's why we are uh, staying, um, staying in this lane. So um, if you're new to my channel, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that like button as well. So I know, you know, you 
like the content and um, that's an indication for me uh, you know that uh, you like to see more videos um, then I will be doing more videos and uh, please uh, share all these videos on uh, you know like Facebook whatsapp group um, so other people can uh, watch as well and if you are looking for uh, driving lessons in Ontario Manitoba Alberta let me know I can help you out okay so uh, we will be turning right next so we're gonna change lane uh, to the right so mirror check signal shoulder check looks clear and now we are uh, good to change lane and uh, speed limit sign on the right hand side maximum uh, 70 kilometers right signal uh, on and um, now they are suggesting slow down to 50 kilometers on this exit uh, so we are slowing down now uh, we can cancel the signal and uh, we we are merging on to a highway okay so now uh, in the merge lane you want to speed up okay so you want to pick up your speed so don't slow down in the merge lane so you want to pick up your speed and then uh, you change lane when it's safe to change lane okay so now we can uh, see the speed limit sign on the right hand side uh, we can put the signal on mirror check shoulder check looks clear and now we can change lane to the right so that's how you merge on to a highway safely so let's uh, change lane uh, to the left so mirror check signal shoulder check looks clear now we can move over to the left hand side looking at my speed again uh, just to make sure you know we are uh, not going too slow or we are not going over the speed limit slowing down a little bit because sometimes uh, like here uh, the traffic was merging from the right hand side and uh, sometimes uh, people can come into your lane uh, you know without doing a proper check so you always want to be cautious you should be checking um, other cars as well be aware of your uh, surroundings and now we can go back in the right lane mirror check signal shoulder check uh, going back in the right lane looking at my speed again so we are still doing good we are uh, still within the speed limit and uh, we are uh, turning right so let's uh, get in the other lane like both lanes are turning right uh, but it's always easier uh, to turn from the right lane instead of the outer uh, turning lane so complete stop here um, because the light is red so same thing like when when you stop behind uh, another vehicle you want to make sure uh, you don't go too close to them like leave about uh, eight or ten feet in distance now we still have to stop on this red light because first we were behind the truck now we are stopping on the red light now I can go forward look at the traffic and uh, the first of uh, this lane is empty like the right lane is empty so that means we are good to go